How's it going, you two? Bring out a recap of over the weekend races. So, um, this is the Tombstone chassis car. Put a, a body on there. Another body. But, um, I was having issues with this. So, for one, let me show y'all. That happened. Put a hole in there. So, Sunday, the first hit, you know, it spun. I was using foam, so I started to use warmers. Um, I, I baked the tire, I cooked the tire, and then once I put the prep on, the prep was literally bubbling. So I put the car to the line and it went straight down. Now the problem was, in the shutdown, um, as soon as I hit the brake, the car spun out, had no control of it, and it went straight into the, uh, it was like a cone at the end, it was a brick sitting on it, and that's what put the hole in there. So it hit the brick, spun it around, and hit this side. But I didn't pay no attention to anything on the car being damaged. Because I looked at the car and the car still looked in. Everything was intact. But I didn't notice that this shock, one of the bladders that I use on the inside to limit it, had bust. So it, it raised it. It made this shock go up. It closed that shock even more. So this tire was in the air more than that one. So the car kept pulling to the right. Every time it'll shoot to the right after I crashed it, and I couldn't figure out why. At that time, I must have tried like five times to get down the track and end up in the grass every time. <laughs> so I said, You know what? Let me put this car to the side and for a second and just try the other car. But I, I couldn't figure it out. So I came home with the car, I sat it on a bench, and I just looked. At the rear, and I seen that this tire was way up in the air compared to that one. Even as as y'all know, I don't got a, I don't, I don't use um, the weight system that they put in the corners. I don't have them, should I say? So what I do is I just pick up the front to make sure both tires come off the ground at the same time. And when I was doing that, this left tire was coming off the ground like that. And this tire would still be on the ground. That's how the car was coming up. And I wasn't figuring it out why. I went through the front shock, still was doing it. And then I said, let me go through the rear. And then I found a problem. So right now, I didn't even get to test this car how I wanted to. Now, I did some other changes to it. So now I had these in between the shocks and in the arms. So it was spaces between the shocks. I felt that I was causing flex, so I took it out, but I didn't get to test it. Remember, we also went with foam now on this car instead of air, so it's like a whole different tune for me. The car does sit lower, which is a great thing. I'm, I'm liking that. I went with smaller wheels in the front, so it also dropped the car lower. So right now, all I have to do is perfect the wheelie bar, and then we'll go from there. I put a little tension on the springs, I'll probably take it off. I'm not sure. I just want, was, I was messing it with it on Sunday thinking that that's what was pulling me. But it had nothing to do with that. A shock was busted after the crash, which I didn't see. So it is what it is. But, um, yeah, the car is set up how I want it now. So um, we'll go from there and see what happens. Um, I definitely need an, an, a better battery for this car. I'll put the Trinity in the two pole, and uh, I think this car needs a better, better battery. I'm I'm seeing great voltage. Everything is great with it. But I just think it needs a better battery. But anyway, it, we'll get it back out. Y'all yeah, stay tuned for the test set. The next test session, should I say. And, uh, we'll be ready. I got some more tires. I also thought it was the tires because I didn't get the tires done in time. So I thought... The tires being old, that that's what was causing it to pull, but had nothing to do with none of that. It was just me overlooking the car after a crash. And it's very, it, you, you need to utilize that because even a little flip. So I even put new hinge pinches in here. I, I made my own hinge pinches and I, I need to cut them down some more. They're too long, but I put new hinge pins in all four corners. I thought it was a bent hinge pin causing the car to stay stuck like it was. So, just got to go through it. And normally, you'll flip a car testing a few times and you won't see 
what's messing you up, but it'll be the littlest thing. A, a little bladder was broke. That's what was causing the car to pull. Couldn't figure it out, but hopefully we got it figured out. So y'all stay tuned for the next test session with this. Hopefully it goes good. We're going to stay on the foam ties. These are red voodoo's. We're going to stay on these. I got some goals being mounted. We'll probably use those over the weekend. It's getting cold up here, so warmers is the way to go now. Like, till all the way to the line. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let me get the bullet up here, and then we'll go from there. All right, you two. So, this is the bullet chassis. As y'all know, y'all seen it in the video with this body. So, we're going to run through this car. Oh, what I wanted to tell y'all now. Well, this was on this car, so. We'll get to that. I thought it was on the other one. But anyway, so while I was having issues with the other car, keep pulling to the right, I decided, hey, let me try this car out. Just one hit, and it went straight down. I think it went 2-1-0 or something like that. Turned down because I didn't even think it was going to get off the line. So the next hit, I turned it up some more. And I kept turning it up. I must have did. I put the other car to the side completely now. And I went with this one. It was go, it was being consistent. So I must have made four passes. And I got the car into like the 198s. So I was happy with that. So I started to tune it more. I started to give it more. And um, the next pass I brought the car back. And I noticed that. When I was cleaning the tires. One of the tires had a flat. Because these are air tires I'm running on this car. So... I checked over the tire, as y'all seen in the video, I checked over the tire, I found a hole and proceeded to fix it, but what happened was, I'll show y'all, this is a new tire, right, so this tire, I fixed the hole, right, and I put an old red I had on, this is an older red, now as you can see, this one don't got no line, you see the line right here, if y'all can see that. This tire also has that line, so it's a new tire. So the firmness of this tire is completely different from this tire. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can. So this tire is worn out, right? By it being worn out, it throws like an oval now. I mean, it, it goes up like that, like a, a weird shape. Come to where this one is straight flat because the tire is so still firm and new. So on... This side, I'm getting one patch, and this, on this side, I'm getting another one. So I switch tires, and I go down, and the car is pulling out. So I have to let off and get back in. Because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this tire is growing now, being so worn out. So it's pulling on me to the left, which is giving the left side more contact patch. So now I'm fighting that. And trying to tune the car at the same time. Because I'm trying to go faster. But as I put more power, it feels like it's just it's not working. So I, this tire works. And it sends me down one pass. I, I get the car into the 196. I come back to the table. Clean the tire. And um, I send it down again. I think it went 195. Brung it back. Tire was flat again. So I had to worry about that. And the, ne at the next race up, race up was Benji. So, um... I end up putting in another, t the old tire on the left, I had the new on the right. So when I took off, the car went straight, and then it started to pull. I had to let off and get right back into it. I ended up taking a win, but it was just a tricky day with, with the air tires. Now, I'm not saying the air tires is to fault, because they work good. I use no heat all day on this. From the first um, prep I put on here, it was, it was sticky for the rest of the day. Then it was a cold day out, so... That was a good thing. So I, it it took it to where it didn't want to put down no more power. Because if that tire right on, on the left side grew too much, it was pulling. So it was like I had to stay where I was at. And I stood there consistently and it brought me into the finals, which was a great thing. For a new, a new bill, you could say. It was his first run in a competition. <laughs> and it did good. It went, it went to the finals. I think it could use a little tweaks because I noticed as I was putting power down, the car kept pulling. But that's what led me to believe that it was a tire. So when we get this back out, hopefully we can either put both old tires on here so we can replicate the same contact patch or we'll put the both new ones. We'll see. We'll see how it works. But so far I'm liking it, but I also had a problem with the the motor and the eliminator so what happened was i was 
I like tapped the gas in the air just to hear the noise. I was hearing a funny noise. It sounded like I was getting binding. I even asked Benji, like, Benji, you hearing? He goes, yes. So I figured it was a motor giving up on me because this is an old 2.5. Um, I rebuilt it, but I just figured it was a motor. So now when I came to look over the car, the slipper eliminator was loose. So it was probably causing flex in the spur, and that's what was causing it to bind. So I'm glad I didn't uh, mess the spur up because I believe this is the only one I have left. But other than that, the car did good. I did. I went through it, tightened it up. Now what I really need to figure out is the uh, willy bar adjustment. Because right now I'm thinking I'm hitting in the middle of the track and unloading when I give it more power. But on the next test session, we'll definitely figure that out. So, y'all stay tuned. The bullet did its thing. I'm not going to lie. It was a good car. I know if I had a better motor in here, it would do better. But right now, I'm going to keep beating on that motor until it blow up. <laughs> I'll probably change it. We'll see. But um, y'all stay tuned. Let me show y'all something real quick. And I'll, I'll get right back. All right. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Benji. Um gave me a discharger now uh he used to hear me complaining all the time when i had to go home so to discharge this battery it would take it's only 4,000 milliamp at that so it would probably take an hour and 30 minutes and then so on up on my charger it only discharges at 1.3 amps so that's nothing so now my boy benji surprised me with a discharger this thing literally takes Two minutes, three minutes, depending on what you're discharging. Now, I'll run through it real quick with y'all to show you how it works. But definitely a great discharger, especially if you're at a race and you want to charge and discharge in between the races. It's great for that. So, all right, give me one second. Let me hook it up. All right, everything is going to run off the battery that you're discharging. So, you just hit here. I got it set to 25 amps to discharge. It goes up to 40. The battery is already, it was already discharged, so... You'll have to find a sweet part, sweet spot for your battery. Because right now we discharge at like 740. And that brings the battery back up to 7... Where you've seen it at, 788. So if you want to fine tune it, you'll bring it down to like 730. And that should bring it to like 780. So just for instance, I'll show you how it works. Right now, it's going to go up to 25 amps to discharge the battery. But that's what the battery voltage is at and it'll keep dropping 741 it will drop all the way to 730 and then it'll, it'll beep to let you know that it's done it even has a built-in fan that's simple but yeah, shout out to Benji, man. Appreciate you, bro. So, um, <clears throat> all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll actually look at the... We'll just look at it real quick just to see where uh, where it's at now that I discharged it a little. See? Bring it down. 779, 780. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in.